Okay, here we're going to look at our reference line. So we're going to go down to our generic template. And from this point, uh, we're going to open up our, our generic template and we want to go in and we want to create uh, two reference planes. One to the left. This one to the left, and one above, like so. Remember, this is our central reference. So now what we want to do here is uh, go in to the Create tab, and we want to select Reference Line. So we want to select this reference line and take it to just about here. We want to create another reference line and let's take this one just there. Now what we want to do now is we want to um, add some parameters so we want to go and take the annotate tab and select angular dimension so we want to we want this dimension here this angle and we want this one okay so now it's a good idea to align and lock these things down on this so we want to go to a line. I always say you want to go from there to there and lock it. From here to here and lock. Now this one, same thing. Go from here to there and lock it. From there to there and lock it. So we have our angles locked. And then we want to go and give these guys some parameters. So what I'll do is I'll select this angle. And then I'll go and add a label to it. And we'll just call it angle. And that will be an instance parameter. All of our parameters here are going to be instances. Because we want to have pipes. And the pipe values are going to be all different. And then it's going to be the same here. So then we're going to grab this guy and we just apply this reference parameter to that one. And this guy over here. Okay. So now let's go in and add some other parameters here. So we'll go here and we'll select this reference line and we'll select this. Add a parameter here. This will be our, let's take this guy, add a label. We'll call this our bin radius. And this is also an instance parameter. Click OK. And then we'll add another parameter here. This is the, probably the most crucial uh, parameter, this guy up here, because this is what's going to control uh, all of the, uh, the geometry as far as the angle and where it goes. So, so we can draw a triangle to the center, and we know that we're trying to calculate the opposite right in here. So if I did a triangle here, we calculate the opposite. So it's really going to be half of the angle itself, basically. And so an easy way to do that is for this one, we want to add a label here. And what, what we want to do here, this, this one, this guy we want to leave. We don't want to be tampered with. So we, want to call it, we don't want to change this at all. We want to change the L1. And um, it's also going to be an instance parameter. So we're going to go here. We're going to make this an instance. 
and and we'll make it an instance and then what we want to do is we need to make this guy something where we know it can't we don't want to be tampering with so we want to group this under constraint and then we'll go okay so now we have our all our parameters in place Everything's looking good here. So with this guy here, he's got to control all of our... He's got to do a lot of controls and as far as we're going to use the tangible because we need to op be able to calculate the opposite to the angle that's known to the adjacent. Uh, this is just basic uh, trigonometry. Uh, what we did with... Uh, Similar triangles uh, back in the day. Uh, been a while for me, but <laughs> yeah. So what we're going to do here? We want to go into our family types, and we want to go here. We want this L1 value to equal the bend radius. times tangent multiplied by an angle divided by two. And we'll say okay. So now, from this point here, we want to go in and just do a quick check here. Okay, so the check will be these two values have to be the same if this is going to, if this is working properly. So let's just take the measure tool and measure right there. Okay, we'll measure from this point that point. Okay, so these are the same, so we're in good shape so far. Let's take that. Okay. Now, the next thing we want to do here is start uh, adding in our, our sweep. Now, I created my sweep earlier, but you're going to have to create one um, for yourself. But before we do that, let's go uh, create the family category. Now, uh, here on the family categories, we want to call this a pipe fitting. And down below here, it's going to be an elbow. Sorry, said there, that's the type. We can change this to any of these type of things, crosses, T's, flanges, whatever, but this is an elbow. And we'll select OK. Now we go back into our family types. We added some new uh, parameters here, coefficient table and loss method. So we'll just click OK here. We're all good. Now, what we want to do now is we want to go in and um, place our sweep. We want to create a sweep now. So, we want to go create, sweep, and here we want to sketch our path. Now, we'll sketch our path, but we'll use the arc and center ends too because We've got some definitive points here. We've got this point here, and we can go to this line and this point. Now, what we want to do here is we want to align this guy, and we want to select our center mark and turn that on so we can align this point to the center mark Second. Yep. We 
want to align this. created my um, profile also well I don't forget we've got a line I in so they will go in the reading the right they don't go away or slip up so I'm gonna go here to that point and lock it I'm gonna go this to this and lock it now we want to go in and we want to hit the check mark and then we want to load a profile. Now mine's on my desktop. I need to load it into my project. And I made a circle. And I'm going to say open here. And then now I should be able to find my circle here and there it is. And then I'll hit the green check mark and there's my uh, sweep. So let's just go to our 3D view. I just want to tile this. Oh, got all these windows open. Let's just do a window tile here so you can see this. So there's our sweep. Now, what we want to do here now is make sure our angle will flex properly so what we have now is we have our angle so let's change this to 45 degrees okay looks good now let's max this out to 90 we're not going over 90 so let's see what happened if we change this to 90 degrees Please. okay so looks good guys anyway this is how we do uh, elbow and this is how we would use um, reference lines let's take this down to 45 or 30 okay so there you go we just created an elbow and created a reference line we use reference lines and reference planes so Anyway, this is just part one of this exercise. We'll continue later. Anyway, thanks for watching. And if you like this video, subscribe. It, it helps me out a lot. Thanks. And till next time, bye.